Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. This week we begin by following the daily inspiration that is used in each of the five days at Camp Joy Mission, where our youth are spending the week reconstructing homes in Appalachia. Today our scripture is from 1 Corinthians 13, and it's entitled, Nothing Without Love. Paul writes, If I speak in the tongues of men and angels but have not love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to move mountains but have not love, I'm nothing. If I give away all I have and I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Of course, as people of faith, the concept of love is continually put before us. But no matter how often we hear of it, love still has all of the complexity and depth and power that the things of God does. Our focus today is that we are called to do nothing without love, that the way that we speak should be in love. That the way that we use our gifts and our skills should be in love. That the way that we serve or give what we have, the way that we sacrifice should be done in love. I was recently reading an article that talked about the fact that self-preservation can at times run counter to our capacity to love. If we look at our time, if we look at our skills, if we look at our finances with an eye to self-preservation, we never have the ability to risk, to reach out, to extend wide enough and far enough to love. I think that's part of why a trust in God's abundance and God's provision goes hand in hand with love. In order to speak with love, I have to trust that forgiveness and grace are real. In order to use the gifts that I have with love, I have to believe that God will provide the other gifts that are needed. In order to serve and to give what I have in love, I have to trust that God will continue to provide to me and to the things around me. And so today, as you begin this week, I invite you to consider how you can do all things with love, speak with love, think with love, walk with love, walk with someone with love, give with love, use your gifts with love, use your knowledge with love. Scripture goes on to tell us that faith, hope, and love endure, but by far the greatest is love. Today, may we be a people who are known by our love. May we serve like Christ has served us, and may we genuinely understand that Extending ourselves in the love that God calls us to cannot allow us to put ourselves first. We can't protect ourselves and still risk enough in love. God, we're grateful that your love is enough. We're grateful that your love saves us. We're grateful that your love is continually pouring over us. Give us the ability today, God, to do all that we do in love. In Jesus' name, amen.